says Boeing's Starliner will try to fly its first astronauts again as soon as next weekend, despite a helium leak. Yeah, the latest launch date follows calling off the window two weeks ago. And since the scrub, there's been even more delays to Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, their historic mission to the International Space Station. As News Six's James Sparvero shows us, leadership continues to sound confident, even with all the challenges. So since the scrub came down on May 6, NASA has announced four new launch attempt dates for the Boeing Starliner crew flight test. Today was just the first day in all that schedule shuffling that the mission managers say they were ready to tell us about all that work behind the scenes. They say the teams have been working seven days a week to get the spacecraft ready to try again. I know there's some frustration out there about us sharing information in a timely way. I can assure you that the teams were working up until late yesterday coming to a conclusion. Over the phone, NASA told us since the first launch attempt, they've replaced that bad valve on the Atlas V rocket, and they said that helium leak is stable, so they think Starliner is safe to fly. When we had a briefing here at Kennedy Space Center in person a few weeks ago, I asked Mark Nappy with Boeing about working through what's been years of delays. Mark was then asked today how concerned he is discovering more problems. Here's how he answered. Hardware issues or hardware failures are just part of our business. The important thing is, is how do you react to it and how do you learn from it? So no, I, I'm not concerned with our process that leads up to this. NASA says neither are Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, the Starliner astronauts. When the scrub came down, they were within just a couple hours from launching to the space station. Now Butch and Sonny are back in Houston, but they'll return to KSC on Tuesday. Their next launch attempt is scheduled for Saturday, June 1st, at 12.25 in the afternoon. And of course, if that changes again, we'll keep you updated on clickorlando.com. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results new six.